Palmer Ridge. Welcome back to Ridgeline. I'm Sean Brady. And I'm Natalie Wright. Thank you for tuning into our show. Hopefully you all had fun at Snowball. And even though we had a very short and snowy week, the show must go on. For our first piece, we're going to take a look at the ups and downs of many elevators in our Principles of Engineering classes. With many engineering courses here at Palmer Ridge, it's no surprise we're prone to many interesting creations by our creative students. As the semester continues, many students are anxious to show off their creations in engineering courses. In Principles of Engineering, students are completing an elevator that they had to build and even program with many parts and components. The point of the marble sorter and this robotics projects that we're working on is to learn to program, it's to learn to build, uh, to solve a problem and to critically think about the steps that need to be taken to solve a complex problem. The world is full of problems and challenges, so a good way to learn problem solving skills could be in a class like Principles of Engineering. If you think this kind of class might be right for you, talk to Mr. Dahl to find out a little more info. From Ridgeline, this is Sean Brady. I never really thought how interesting mini elevators could be. Even though the Super Bowl has passed and all sports seem to be end, our very own Palmer Ridge baseball team is just beginning their season. Although the actual season has started, our baseball team is already getting prepared for this year. The boys get up early every Tuesday and Thursday at 5.30 in the morning and practice. Most of the practices have been batting, fielding, and basic drills. Uh, well, the varsity, we need to get them back to, to the playoffs for sure. Last year we missed it. And then on the JV and the freshman team, just make sure that we are developing players and getting them better and preparing them for varsity play. Hopefully the team can make it to playoffs this year and live up to the high standard set. Good luck this season. If you ever don't feel like going home, drop by our baseball team, our baseball field, and cheer on our very own promising baseball team. Though there are many different classes in PR that you can take to learn about drama, there is also a drama club. Nidal here got a look at the club to see what's going on. Palmer Ridge Theater Department has been practicing for their one actress competition. Their play is called Selfie. Why is the... Where are you standing? Uh, you are gonna... Drama club has been rehearsing for the past month every day after school, preparing a show that sure is to win in some category in the competition. I think it's important to act because some people need to express themselves in ways other than just like writing or painting or doing math or doing sports or anything like that. So I think acting is just another creative outlet for people. The show they are putting on is about a group of high schoolers trying to get through their senior year so by documenting it with selfies. Students here. can come see it before they leave for the competition on the 4th of February. From Ridgeline, this is Natalie Wright. Thanks, Natalie. It looks like one of the more fun clubs, fun clubs that you can attend. Another form of art is PR, IPR is ceramics class. Samantha took a look at what they're currently sculpting. This semester in ceramics too, the students are learning many new skills and advanced techniques, and they're making more elaborate designs. This school has many outlets for the more creative students. One of these many classes is Ceramics 2. So far they have completed a hidden compartment box. Right now the class is working on multiple projects which include making a gauntlet and incorporating different and unique designs. Although what they are doing may look simple, it actually takes a lot of focus and creative ability. Right now we're making a cup. Uh, it is themed. It's kind of like a gauntlet. Uh, my theme is an underwater shipwreck. Uh, I'm incorporating some animals like an octopus, maybe a shark. Uh, really, it just works around whatever theme you're doing. It seems that our art teachers are molding future artists. Last but not least, we're going to give it over to Bobby. Do you think we'll have such a hectic week like last one? Good morning, Palmer Ridge, and happy Monday. My name's Bobby Pascal, and judging by my cool, relaxed voice and very handsome appearance, I think I'm a weatherman. That being said, let's get to the forecast. Checking out the current surface map, we do see a whole lot going on over our nation. Those high-pressure zones over there shouldn't affect Colorado. However, that warm and cold front diverging over our state should have some effect. Luckily, it's moving away from us, clearing out our skies, and looking for some warmer temperatures. Checking out the temperature map. Look at that, Palmer Ridge. Warmer temperatures. A high of 50, but plenty of sunshine in the sky over Denver. The rest of our nation is still cool, as it is winter, but warming up a little bit. 
Let's check out the five day and see how Monument's looking. Well, partly cloudy on this Monday morning with a high of 53 to show for it. Tuesday, those clouds persist with a similar high of 57. On Wednesday and Thursday, those clouds do move away, though, so even though we have highs of 52 and 50, it should feel a lot warmer. And then Friday, we end off our week with plenty of sunshine, but a couple of clouds and a high of 52 to show for it. Well, Palmer Ridge, that's all I got for you. We're still looking for a replacement weatherman for next year, so if you're interested, come see Mr. Say. We have a couple applications, but we can add yours in the pile. Um, before we leave today, I'm going to hand it off over to Nick, who has some information on our senior gift. I'm Bobby Pascal, and for more information on the weather, go outside. Nicholas? At the end of every year, the seniors give something called the Senior Gift. And this year's gift is nothing short of amazing. Throughout the past few years, the senior class has provided a special gift to help make their mark on the school for the next years to come. These gifts aren't just the rocks that you see driving into the school parking lot, but they are also very helpful items also. Whether this item is a place to sit, a cool decoration, or a water fountain, these gifts have certainly made their mark. And so will this year's senior class gift. So the senior gift this year is going to basically, we're calling it a tech table. Um, but imagine like an iPad and make it a 70 inch TV. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to be bringing that to the school and it's going to be up in the library. Though we already have a lot of technology within the school and the library, this edition will further progress our school's technological advancement. This gift can be used to help do a project or just have a little fun. Though we have already received many generous donations from the school and other outside sources, the gift still needs your help to make it come true, seniors. And I'm Nick Bridges for Ridgeline. Thanks, Bobby. Hopefully we can have a little bit of sunshine before our next snowstorm. And that's our show of Palmer Ridge. Thanks for watching. Have a great week, Bears.